Okay, so hello friends. In this video, I will tell you some of the features of this open beta version 4, which I've already installed in my OnePlus 3T. I've also made a dedicated video on how to install it on your device, so you can click the i button to watch the video. In this video, I will tell you some of the features of this open beta version 4, and uh, we'll be also comparing the Geekbench scores, and also we'll be uh, stating whether you should install it on your device or not. So, without wasting any time, let's begin. Okay, so the first new feature is the redesigned launcher. So you can relate this launcher with the one which you can find in the Pixel launcher. We have the 3D touch which you can relate with the one which we can find in the iOS. For example, we have for YouTube, for Twitter. However, this is limited to only some of the applications and it's not open to each and every application. Next, we also have the swipe up for the app drawer and at the top we have the search apps to search any application. And however, we are going to miss the button for the app drawer which was supposed to be at the center. Okay, so the second is the real-time network speed which you can see at the top in the status bar. And by default it will be turned on and if you want you can also disable it by going to the settings. Then under the status bar, go down and as you can see that the display network speed is checked on. If you want you can turn that off and by default it's turned on and I must say that though it's in beta stage but the time that uh, the changing time of the network speed is quite accurate and the speed also which it's showing I guess it's quite accurate so that's a good thing. Okay so for number 3 we have the notification the noising so for that go to settings then in the apps yeah in the apps choose any application which you want for example let me choose Amazon shopping and here we can see notifications we have the option called notification denoising and it says notifications will be grayed out and shown at the bottom never peek and LED hide from lock screen and status bar never make sound or vibrate so if you want any application you can do that you can activate the notification denoising for that particular application Okay, so for number 4, we have the added gaming do not disturb mode. So you can find that option in the settings at the bottom in the advanced tab. So the last option is the gaming mode. So here we have the uh, list you can add any application if you want. For example, let me do it for Shadow Fight 2. So here I have checked that. And the options which are checked is the block notification. So all the notification will be blocked excluding the calls and the alarms. And second that it will lock the buttons, the capacitive buttons. So let's try it out. So let me open Shadow Fight 2. So here as you can see that none of my phone's buttons are working but still I'm able to play the game as you can see that neither of the buttons are working. So to disable that you have to go to the status bar and you have to click this. By clicking that you will exit the gaming do not disturb mode and then you will be able to use them. So this is a very cool feature for those gamers who accidentally press the button and they quit the game. So it's pretty nice. Okay, so for number five, we have the automatic night mode. So for that setting, you have to go to the settings. Then in the display, we have the night mode. So you can turn it on automatically by two ways. First, you can do it uh, by customized timing or else if you want the phone to do that so the phone can do when the sun sets it can turn it on and when the sun rises it can turn it off here we have the uh, slider to adjust the cold and the warmth of the display okay so for number six we have the added security box for file encryption you can find that in the file manager and then in the categories tab you can find at the bottom right corner we have the secure box you can set any pin for example I've already done that so let me just open it so after opening it will be something like this 
so you can add anything for example any uh, video any picture any application anything which you want any word document and also here we have the option to change the pin if you want and to hide anything first for example let me show you any apk for example this one i have so just hold it and then in the more we have the set as secure so now it's secured so now we have it in the secure box so let me show you so again insert your pin and so as you can see that the application is right over here so you can by this method you can save any applications whichever you want okay so if you want to remove any application or anything you can do easily by holding that thing and in the more we have the remove from secure box so just click that and select wherever you want for example i will select the internal storage over here so just click on move and at the bottom as you can see that the abk has moved okay so for number seven we have the improved contact management with linking and merge function so for example let me show you i have this two contacts for sample for example this a and this one saved as a1 so i have these two contacts and you can merge these two contacts by just selecting those two contacts and then here in the more you can just click on link and the second selected option will be set as the default name so for example here we have the a1 and here we have the two uh, numbers linked together and also we have the uh, new qr code scan which they have introduced in this update let me show you yeah so this one is the new function uh, the improved contact management okay so for number eight we have the added quick way option for india and do know that this is only for indian users so for that first go to settings then down in the security and fingerprint we have the quick pay so you can enable it by any two methods for example first is the screen off quick pay and the second is the screen on quick pay so you have to long press the home button whenever you want for example in the screen off you have to press the one when the screen is off and for the screen on uh, long press when the screen is on for example mine is turn on when the screen is on so by long pressing it will automatically open the paytm application which is by default and then pay for anything instantly so this was the most awaited feature which finally came okay so the final one is the general bug fixes and general improvements under which comes the optimized touch latency and uh, yeah the touch is very responsive and i have no complaints regarding it so yeah that's a improvement and then we have the optimized camera image uh, electronic image stabilization for better video stability i have also checked that out and i haven't noticed any major difference but yeah that's also a general improvement okay so one more improvement which uh, oneplus has introduced to this oneplus 3t is that when you insert your dash charger inside your phone then you will hear a zapping sound and then thunder will come from the bottom of your phone and yeah it looks quite cool and amazing and uh, it will indicate that uh, dash charging is enabled as you can see okay so that was some of the features of this open beta version 4 which oneplus has stated and i listed over there so yeah and also this open beta version 4 is quite stable there are no major bugs which i faced and the device also runs quite fluid as if it is not an open beta and it's a stable OTA update. So trust me, it's quite useful and the new features are also quite attractive. And also there's uh, one thing that if you don't like the update, you can also revert back by flashing the ROM which is present in the OnePlus website. The link will be in the description. You can click that link and you can see the versions by which you can flash it and you can revert back to the original operating system. And talking about the improvements, first improvement is that the battery life is high. Is majorly uh, taken into concern and they have uh, worked hard to improve the battery life before the update the screen on time which i used to got was about three hours or three hours 15 minutes and now after applying the update i'm getting almost around four and a half hours to five hours of screen on time and that's quite amazing talking about the geekbench score the score is also improved after applying the update and yeah the performance is, is also improved and uh, by using the device you can see that it is quite snappy and 
it uh, it runs everything quite fine uh, and yeah it's quite amazing so yeah so i hope that you have enjoyed my video if you enjoyed it i would appreciate if you click the like button if you have any comments please not forget to comment in the comment section below please share it to your family members and your friends and uh, yeah i hope to see you in my next video